Hey everybody, here we are at Smokey Joe's on Cedar Lane, and we're going to try to find out how Joe makes his brisket. That pulled brisket that everybody loves and eats on Saturday nights when they're listening to those incredible jazz moves. Thanks, Jeanette. So this is our secret rub recipe. It's actually on the back of all of the t-shirts that we sell. Uh, secret rub number 88, that's because there were 87 versions before, and we finally struck upon this last version that we loved so much. Now, the recipe is not entirely here, but it's pretty darn close. Why am I getting the gut feeling that this is the ingredient that sets it apart? That, in fact, may be the case. But, but... You know, it's 80, 90% there for you to figure out exactly what's in it. 80, but, 90%. But if I tell you what's in it, it won't be the secret rub 88 anymore. It'll just be rub number 88. Anytime you make a rub, and you can make, there are a hundred different variations of rub, you're going to want to combine something savory with something sweet. So, of course, there's salt and pepper in here, and there's brown sugar in here as well. From there, you can add almost anything. Some people just make a rub out of salt and pepper, salt and pepper and garlic. Um, ours has paprika in it, of course, um, and a number of other secret, secret ingredients. ingredients. That is a nice side of meat. This is a nice piece of meat, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you put a piece of meat that has no fat into the smoker, all you're going to do is get a dry piece of meat. So you need a little bit of fat on your brisket before you put it into the smoker. Okay, now we've got our mustard slather on. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It contributes to the overall flavor, and it makes a really great product. It also helps to hold... Yeah, it's the glue. Right. It helps to hold the, the rub down. We just gently rub it in. Well, it's more like patting it down. Mm-hmm. Oh. With a little love and That's tenderness. right. It's all about, barbecue is all about the love. Mmm, my mouth is starting to water already. And there you have it. Oh my. That's a nice piece of meat. Yeah, so this has been smoking in the smoker for about 12 to 14 hours. And that is a beautiful, freshly cooked, properly prepared, authentically smoked barbecue brisket. Ooh, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Cut off a little piece from the end and let me chew on it. You got it. I'm licking this sauce. And I'm liking it fine. We're really a barbecue joint. We have guacamole salsa, we have fajitas, but the heart of who we are is barbecue, brisket, chicken, I, my wife and I moved to Teaneck from Manhattan, and uh, I knew I wanted to open up a restaurant, but I didn't know exactly which kind of restaurant I wanted to open up. And we started thinking about it, and we realized that nobody was doing authentic barbecue. And that's why we created Smoky Joe's, to bring that wonderful, smoky, authentic taste to kosher Jews, because no one had done it before. This is out of the smoker, and it's been smoked doubly long. It won't pull as well if you take it out after 12 or 14 hours. You need to smoke it a little bit longer. How did this get so moist? Because when we take it out of the smoker, we'll put it in a pan and cover it and let it sit for another two hours and it stews in its own juices. Oh, look at that, air claws. It really is an artisanal process where you really have to care about what you're doing. We are very much about freshness, so we are making virtually all of what we serve every single day and everything is made fresh in-house. We, even our desserts are made in-house and we use very high quality chocolate to make our desserts, which is why our chocolate mousse is just so fantastically good. Um, we serve it with some chocolate truffles on the side. Um, I'm a freshness freak, so I want everything to be um, at the height or peak of its freshness when we serve it to the customer. There you go, Jeanette, why don't you be the first Corn to bread. try it? And uh, shall I give you a little bit of our onion jam? Yes. You make this your is, own onion jam? We do, and this is this is uh, how we start the meal off at Smokey Joe's. It it's complimentary. And it comes, uh, you know, with your meal when you sit down. And it's steaming good. I'll give you the recipe for the onion jam. 
Well, I won't give you the recipe for the cornbread, but I'll give you the recipe for the onion jam. Were you ever in food service before? I own and still own a, a catering business where we do upscale events. So I had been in, you know, I had been cooking food for, for many, many years oh, and taking care of people. My parents owned a restaurant in South Florida. Um, my mother got permission to marry my father when my bubba saw her blintzes and said, my God, you can read a newspaper through these. And um, so food has always been in our family. Um, you know, food is in everybody's family because everybody eats. But that having been said, some people really, really love working with food. And we love working with food here at Smokey Joe's.